worst Premier League howlers over last decade 10 years on from that Torres miss. It's 10 years today since Fernando Torres missed that shocking open goal for Chelsea against Manchester United. United were leading 3-1 with seven minutes to go when Torres had the chance to set up a nail-biting finish at Old Trafford. The former Liverpool striker timed his move perfectly as he ran onto a through ball, then sidestepped David De Gea, only to fire hopelessly wide with an empty net at his mercy. It was a howler that ranked alongside Ronnie Rosenthal's famous miss from 1992 when he clattered the crossbar after rounding Aston Villa keeper Nigel Spink to give himself an open goal. And it wasn't even the only gaffe of the match, with Wayne Rooney having a blooper of his own when he slipped as he took a penalty, scuffing the ball against his other foot as he fell to the ground. Here, Daily Star Sport looks at some more of the Premier League's worst howlers in the decade since that Torres miss. Matt Ritchie ended up in the net himself against Burnley, but the ball somehow didn't, much to his disbelief. Newcastle were winning 2-1 at Turf Moor when Ritchie missed a fine chance to secure the points for Rafa Benitez's side. Joe Hart had saved at the feet of DeAndre Yedlin, only for the ball to fall for Ritchie, who somehow blasted wide from inside the six-yard box. What was the funniest ever Premier League howler? Have your say in the comments below asked afterwards how he had failed to score, Ritchie said, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I thought I'd scored to be honest with you. I think I was already celebrating before I put into the net. Luckily for Ritchie, Newcastle held on for the victory. Ali conjured up one of the worst misses since Torres during Newcastle's 4-0 win over Stoke. Stoke were in trouble when a pass ricocheted into Ali's path in the danger area just outside Shea Given's box. The midfielder sat the Stoke keeper down brilliantly and just had to roll the ball into an empty net but saw his shot cannon back off the post. Ali had the last laugh, however, netting a well-executed volley after opening the scoring with a fine finish as Spurs won 4-0. Ben Foster landed his side in trouble when he charged out of his area to clear the danger against Norwich. The England keeper was all set to hoof it clear as Grand Holt bore down on him, chasing a ball from Wes Houlihan. But Foster ended up kicking the air as he inadvertently skipped over the ball, leaving Holt with a simple tap in. Norwich went on to win 4-0, securing their Premier League status for another season. He scored 184 Premier League goals, including one of the most famous of all time, when he won the title for Man City in the dying moments of the 2011-12 campaign. But Sergio Aguero found himself being told how to finish by Gary Neville after missing one of the easiest open goals of all time. Bernardo Silva had done brilliantly to shrug off the attentions of Chelsea's defenders and fire across across the six-yard box where a lurking Aguero rolled his shot harmlessly into the side netting. He had a floppy foot, said Neville on co-commentary duties for Sky Sports. He just needed to stiffen his ankle, not that I should be telling Sergio Aguero how to finish. Aguero must have listened to Neville's advice as he went on to score a hat trick as City thrashed Chelsea 6-0 on their way to the domestic treble. It's fair to say that Mario Balotelli didn't go down as one of the greatest Liverpool strikers. And he did his standing in the game no favours when he skied an attempt against QPR. After Adam Lallana had seen his shot saved, the ball fell to Balotelli, who was in acres of space on the left-hand side of the box. But with the goal gaping, the former Man City man lifted his half-volley high into the second tier of the Loftus Road stands, to the amusement and relief of the home fans. Arter Boric looked to have a fairly simple clearance when he received a back pass from a team mate at the Emirates. But he tried to be clever as Olivier Giroud closed him down, turning on the ball to evade the attentions of the Arsenal striker. Giroud wasn't easily shrugged off, though, and Boric got himself in a spin, turning around four or five times before the forward pick pocketed him and passed the ball into an empty net. The Gunners won 2-0. It's well known that Sterling has worked on his finishing and his composure in the box since joining Manchester City, but his learnings deserted him on this occasion. Kyle Walker whipped a low cross right across Burnley's six-yard to the back post, where Sterling was sprinting in for a tap-in. But the city man fired wide, then fell to the floor and slapped the ground in frustration. Virgil van Dijk could already turned away after horribly miss kicking his volleyed attempt in the Merseyside derby. But the ball somehow dipped towards Jordan Pickford's crossbar, forcing the Everton keeper to try and make a save. As he tried to catch it, however, he only succeeded in keeping the ball in play, palming it back onto the crossbar and then back into the air above the six-yard box where Divock Origi was waiting to head home. To make matters worse for Pickford, that ended up being the only goal as Liverpool won the derby bragging rights.
UEFA Men's Player of the Year Jorginho didn't have his best day at the office when he landed keeper Eris Abalaga in trouble with a woeful backpass. Under pressure from Emil Smith Rowe outside his own box, Jorginho passed back towards goal, where he thought he'd find his keeper. Only keeper wasn't there, and the Spaniard had to race back to his line in a desperate attempt to spare his team mate the ignominy of an own goal at Stamford Bridge. But the keeper could only palm the ball into the path of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who pulled it back for Smith Rowe to score the only goal of the game.